YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I asked a poll in tonight's broadcast that I I thought would, would be higher than 50, more like 60-40. And the, the poll was a simple question. Yes or no, have you seen the AI get smarter recently? Because I've seen that as a continuing pattern in my YouTube video comments and behind the scenes in line. And then I asked Mama right before we started to record, Mama... What's your AI experience been like? And remind the people what you said. Um, yeah, absolutely. They just like I was doing a, a fight last night on my stream, and the the AI just stood there blocking for like thirty seconds. Stood in one place blocking. I, I've seen that in battlegrounds, but then the minute, or I should say, the millisecond that they can attack, they fire their special. Uh, yep. so Elrond has a couple of messages to add to this of AI issues we haven't discussed yet in this video. Elrond Humber? Elrond. <laughs> yeah, Elrond. I think he's not as religious. Uh, <laughs> he says, the AI has been backdrafting me so often and I notice it in incursions when the fights get tough. And so, uh, I'm pulling up this screen because there's a reason why Kabam Mike freaked out the community when he said that it was not an if, but a win when Hercules is getting nerfed. Hercules is costing so many people um, a chance to have to use revives and incursions because he's that good. Maybe that's why that the blackout incursions bug is still a thing for so many people. Because if you're going to use Hercules, we're going to make you blackout manually. Uh, which really annoys me. But not only that, he added the second point to this. Sometimes the AI knows how to counter Hercules unblockable by doing everything except getting hit. Fair enough. Um, I've seen the AI parry me more, dex me more, and then when you fight champs like Fing, literally fights around the rock stacks. Yeah. Like, whenever I fight Fing, I sit back and I think, is, is a real human being controlling this guy? Because he looks like he knows exactly what he's doing at the perfect moments. He knows when to be aggressive. He knows when to be passive. And Thing can be a pretty easy defender to fight when you've got somebody like Falcon to counter him. But if he's doing what Mama Bear just described, hiding in a corner and holding block, you can't do anything. No. And in Battlegrounds, every second literally counts. And the same is true with Alliance War. So... Uh, that is huge. I also think as Harvey Wallbanger, another, uh, favorite YouTube name of yours, mom. I love it. Intercepting has been difficult lately. So it's funny you bring that up, Harvey, because I wanted to bang my head against the wall, ironically, earlier playing Battlegrounds because with the new, uh, nodes in the victory track, you have to intercept to transfer the power stings. Or else you obviously take damage when you fire a special. And I was dashing forward trying to time the intercepts. And it was it felt like I'd never played the game in my life. I was unable to do any of it. Um, <laughs> Ryan. I've, I mean, I've been in the middle of a heavy. And then have the AI throw a special. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. So... You know, all in all, this is something that Kabam is not going to want us to talk about. Kabam wants us to stop talking about AI. They keep saying in their forum posts that they're not touching it. But then they say that they touched something else and it made the AI change. So that's like saying, well, I didn't rob the bank. I just pulled the fire alarm and then took the money. Yep. You know what I mean? I didn't threaten anybody. I just went around it. So we're not directly messing with the AI. We're just messing with other things that then in turn mess with the AI. I read messages like that. Like, Mama, you're a parent. What would happen if your kid was like, look, I didn't steal your wallet. I stole your purse, which happened <laughs> to have your wallet in it. Would you be like, oh... Oh, you kid. That's fine, then. That's not the same well, thing at all. that's different. That's totally different. <laughs> <laughs> like, in a real-world scenario, 
this argument would be literally insane. But in this game, somehow, it's normal. Or at least they want us to normalize it. And I think you can make an argument I've always been crazy, and I think there's a good argument for that. But I'm definitely going crazier every time I talk about stuff like this. Because there's no comparison to any other situation in life that puts you through what Kabam puts you through as a player in this game. Yep. Oh, well, we do have some good news to end this video. We, we, got, we got to 50 likes, I think. I actually see 49 right now, but I think I'm behind. I see 50. Oh, you all are the best. Um, I see 50. I see France. I see... Uh, hopefully not my underpants, because then you won't be able to, <laughs> you won't be able to see anything ever again. Uh, you'll be blinded. But Adam said, exactly, Mama, I have had my heavy hit them with two or three hits, and it does nothing but stand there, and the next thing I know, I'm getting a special to my face, and there's no way to block it. Yep. Wow. Well, hopefully this is at least cathartic for some of you, to feel like it's not just you that's seeing this. So maybe that's what I should title this video. It's not just you. Kabam wants us stopping, wants us to stop talking about AI. Remember when they announced uh, that mission was accomplished with like the parry issue, even though it wasn't at all. I think they've announced mission accomplished with the AI issue, even though it, it sort of feels like it's as advanced and broken as ever. Yeah. Also, DRC is here, and he wants you to know that even though he's quit the game, this all does sound really crazy. So I love DRC. We we do love him. <laughs> Ghost Ride says, I swear I've quit this game at least three times. No, it's um it is the Marvel Casino of Champions for a reason. And when it's good, it's great. When you yep. land on the champions that you love, that feeling is so awesome. And when you win a fight and the AI doesn't do this, like, I don't know about you, but I love dominating this game. Like yep. But when it's bad, it's really bad. Like, toxic bad. Right. And there are going to be the Kabam defenders out there that just want us content creators to be thankful the game exists and never be critical. And, of course... But that's impossible. That's not doing a good job. That's being right. a tool of a company that's trying to get nothing but positive public relations... Uh, videos out so they can make the maximum profit for their investors. Yep. And although I think we want this game to be around, not at the expense of screwing over the players to the point that as Kabam Jack so uneloquently for once said, time is not valuable to us. Only your money is valuable to us. Time is not the most precious he actually person. said that. If you go back and watch my video from this morning, he announced in writing the death of free-to-play players in the form of no longer having the company state publicly that time was valuable. Only resources that you have to expend both in the game and outside the game, make it at your wallet, are valuable in the eyes of Kabam. My... God. So, yeah. You will want to watch it and then probably want to grab something to unload your anger. It? That's healthy. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, well, if you're watching live, stay tuned. I actually didn't mean for this video to be this long. It's just we started talking about AI and the game and you look up and it's been nine minutes. Crazy. All right. Again, if you're watching live, stay tuned. If not, thanks for watching. Good night.